The two specialist doctors, Dr. Ravi Kuma and Professor Linge Goda, expressed this belief that PNG has no radiotherapy equipment, knowing that 60 to 70 percent of cancer patients that get the disease need radiotherapy. And it is a saddening state to know that we don't have radiotherapy services. And in the last couple of days, myself and my colleague, we just went around the hospital. The doctors are very enthusiastic. Only thing is, the government has to come forward to support, to install radiotherapy services. Dr. Paki Molumi, director of the Ian Nose and Throat at Port Mosby General Hospital, says it is likely that the building and installation of the cancer facility will be done by June or July next year. Next few weeks, the tenders for the facility will go. And we hope that uh, we should open this facility mid next year, like July or June or July. Oncologist at the Port Mosby General Hospital, Dr. Peter Olali, says he sees around about 30 patients a day at the Port Mosby General Hospital, but most that come in are in the stage that needs radiotherapy to save them. Big relief for those ones who are currently silently suffering. Every day I look at their face, they're crying to me. Nobody else sees it, I see them. I got nothing to tell them. If you have the money, you go overseas. The importance of the radiotherapy facility is paramount for Papua New Guinea because the process to treat cancer needs combined treatment, which includes surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. We have the cobalt in lay, but after we give surgery and uh, we diagnose here, do the surgery, we had to send them back to lay again to get that radiotherapy. Now the radiotherapy machine, as I'm hearing, is down. So patients have to come back here, get surgery and go down. So it's, it's quite difficult for patients to move around. The only machine that provided this service in the country was in Leh, but has been non-operational, and this new machine will be a blessing to cancer patients throughout the country. Fidelis Sukina, National MTV News.